Good day, tamers. Welcome back to some more news with me, Agita Swiftly, back from EU finals with a head cold and a bit of coffee in the system. And more than four hours of sleep. So, Zhukui, ace. All the level sixes are aces. Let's just get that off the bat now. And Bandai has produced 12 of what I believe is the 15 cards for this deck, which is pretty good. But when digivolving and when attacking, once per turn, by deleting one Digimon with the Deva trait, or 6,000 DP or less, this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. Pretty good. You want to be able to rush things down occasionally. This guy helps you do it. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. Sometimes your opponents are going to be cheeky and they're going to put you down. Well, let's take them with us. At the same time, though, sometimes it might be a case that your opponent wants to do this because it leaves you with no monsters. And if they crash into you with their highest DP thing, and there's nothing else in the field, I guess it kind of sucks. But we can give this blocker in some of its sources, which can make this a bit more of a uh, Hail Mary kind of pass of a thing. If we then go here and look at Indramon, all the Davis do the same thing, so we won't repeat after this point. On play, draw one. Then, you may play one David Trait Digimon card without the same name as the cards in your battle area or trash from the hand to an empty space in your breeding area without paying the cost. Oh boy, that was a mouthful. On deletion, draw one. Not the greatest. Your turn, while well, this Digimon has the four sovereigns or God Beast trait, it gains Security Attack plus one. Well then, it looks like our last card could have Security Attack plus two and swing maybe more than once but we'll go over that later on Sandiramon on deletion delete one of your opponent's Digimon cards with 5000 DP or less well this is pretty good for the other effect right we delete one of our Deva names and then you get to delete something with 5000 DP or less yeah, that's pretty good no blockers anymore right your turn well this Digimon has the four sovereigns or God's Beast trait it gains case access one all the red cards have the same inherited effect and then Paiidramon on deletion, if your opponent has a tamer, gain a memory. Sometimes gain a memory is what you need. Sometimes popping a creature is what you need. Sometimes you need to draw a card. Your turn, or this Digimon has four sovereigns or God Beast since traits, it gains security attack plus one. Next, we move over to Azulong Man Ace. On play, when Digimon from your turn, one of your opponent's level fives, or lower Digimon to the hand. Then, unspend one of your Digimon with the Deva, four great dragons, or sovereign traits. It's a four great dragon. And we've already seen some good four great dragon support coming in the near future. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this card coming down. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level. Again, pretty good. Bye bye level 7s. Overflow, obviously, is the giving your opponent 4 memory, but to be fair, I'll give you 4 memory if I can delete the highest thing in the battlefield if it's level 7, right? Uh, also, as we mentioned, it is a 4 great dragon. It can synergize somewhat efficiently with those cards as well, as well as the Sovereign deck. Next is Antilamon. Wait a second, trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. I don't think this is such a great thing anymore because a lot of the game now has specific source removal. Like, I, I can pick my opponent's stuff. It's a bit annoying. And then when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has the Four Sufferings or God Beast trait, gain one memory. Because this is an attacking effect and doesn't have to be deleted specifically to do things, I would personally play the EX4 and Telemon over this just because you can do... Alliance stuff with it, and if you are essentially like a 14k or a 19k monster with two attacks, your opponent either lets it through, they gotta, they gotta, you know, they gotta stop it, they gotta block it. Then we have Majuramon. Your turn was turn when you use an option card with a cost of one or more, gain a memory, which is pretty good because there's a one cost card in this deck, I believe. So essentially, it's a free cost. We're attacking once per turn. If the Digimon has the four great sovereigns traits, you get a memory, which is okay, so so. Uh, personally speaking, I would prefer the other Mahiramon, which is if there's no Digimon on the field or there's Digimon without Digivolution sources, you can unsuspend. Mahiramon, your turn once per turn. When one of your Digimon is played, trash the top Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. Again, not too sure how I feel about this. I do like the green Mahira, which lets you digivolve into the level 7 for a reduced cost. But I could see it's being used because you also want to have blue cards as well as the green cards. Then we go back to Ebuman. And then on play when digivolving, you may, for each of your Digimon with the Deva or Force of Traits, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then during your opponent's next unsuspend phase, all of their Digimon can't suspend. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. Uh, for a 7 cost to essentially stunlock a board for a turn, that's not that bad of a cost. 
most times you probably would prefer to hand counter a burst, burst evolution. I do think people still forget how this works. That, you know, I have to do... If I'm playing into you, I have to do my when attacking triggers first. I had a couple of people this weekend who did burst did you evolve the second I announced to suspend. It's like, suspend. All right, I'm bursted. It's like, can I do my stuff first, please? Pop that thing. It uh, is upset a lot of people. Uh, and then, yeah, pretty good. Again, seven costs to drop. They will gain four if they can get rid of you, but on deletion, delete with your opponent, suspended Digimon. It's not always worth it if they've got, like, one big stack and they kind of need it. Vahiramon. Or Vajaramon. Uh, so... The issue with this guy is we do have a purple version of this card. It's absolute trash, so you are stuck with him. Your turn was to, when you use an option card with a cost of one or more, get a memory. Yeah, we've seen it before. And then your turn, while well, this Digimon has a Force Reference or God Beast trait, it gains piercing. Pretty pretty good. Good green trait. Your turn was to, when one of your Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, and spin this Digimon. The reason why I like this specifically is because if you do alliance with this card and your opponent has to block the alliance so it doesn't lose two security, you would suspend this. So you're not missing out on attacking still. Or digivolving over this and then attacking again. And again, one of this Digimon has got Beast or Four Sovereigns. It gains piercing. A very good trait. And then last of the green cards, Kombiramon. All turns was turned. When an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, draw one. Which is fairly good if you make your opponent block. They have to suspend, draw, do some cool stuff. Your turn, while this Digimon has the Force Offering or God Beast trait, it gains piercing. Again, fantastic trait. And then we go over to our black line, which is a Bahumon. First turn, once turn, when your security is checked, if that card is a Digimon card with the Deva trait, play it without battling and without paying the cost. And deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. I wouldn't hard drop this unless you definitely had to. You just had a lot of memory and you know your opponent was going to get memories locked or something to that effect. The effect is very good. Especially if you do hit, like, the first thing you hit into is, like, one of the Davis that's just, you know, on play, on back into your because you're going to win at that point. I like the card. I think the card is very good. I just don't know if it has the rights to be played from hand. We have Sindoramon. This is this one's different. It is a decoy for Davis' four sovereigns, so it doesn't actually have a additional your turn or a turn effect. It's just a decoy, which is obviously a very strong trait. Opponent's turn, well, this Digimon has Sufferings or God's Beast against Blocker. Woo! Kitty Cat, Blocker. Katoramon, again, its effect is Blocker. Opponent's turn, well, this Digimon has the four Sufferings or God's Beast trait against Blocker, which is pretty good. Uh, not the greatest to throw down turn one, but, you know, you'll be surprised. Seven memory on your opponent's turn, first turn, kind of ruins them a lot faster than you think it would. Because most of them just don't understand, like, what to do. So, I've got seven memory. Uh, I will play a Digimon to my breeding area. I'll Digivolve up. Uh, I'll Digivolve up again. Uh, I'll draw. Uh, I'll, play, I'll play a Tamer, and then all of a sudden they're just like, "All right, you're at free again." It's like, "All right." So I just do two big creatures in the field, Digivolve up into a, a level six, and just go ham, and they just don't know what to do. And then Monkey Bad Makora, opponents turn all of your opponents' Tamers with a play cost of two or less. Can't suspend. Really good. Opponent's turn, while well, this Digimon has a Force Offerings, it gets Trace, it gets Blocker. And that's it for now. We haven't seen uh, Fang come out yet, so we'll get that possibly today. Breaking news, teamers! It seems that the other three cards have dropped now, which is actually pretty good for us. Because it means I can finish this off in one video, you guys have to watch two, and I retain more sanity than I think I actually deserve. That being said, here we go. We have the one cost option card, which I was talking about yesterday. While well, you have a Digimon with the Deva. Or four sufferance rate, you may ignore this card's color requirements. Main, reveal top three cards of your deck, place one with the Deva or four sufferance traits amongst them. As the bottom digital vision card of one of your Digimon, or add it to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the or top of the deck. Security, activate this card's main effect. A loyalty deeper than the sea. Now, there is a card that already has this text from the Hyper Coliseum days, I believe. If my brain can remember, I'll put it in the video now. Eight and done right, right? And cheap. But to be fair, this is a really good card. And the Holy Beast, great cardinal positions. Which makes sense because the four sovereigns are meant to be the cardinal directions due to the Chinese zodiac system, I believe. Someone quote, quote me better down here and maybe let me sing. We well, have a Digimon with the Deva or Force Offerings traits. You may ignore this card's color comments. It's white. But you generally play analog if anyway, so you don't necessarily have to. When this card would be used, reduce the play cost 
Buy one for each Deva or four sovereign traits with a different card name in your trash. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Main, you may play one Digimon card with a Fenlongmon in its name from your hand without paying the cost. Yeah, boy. I mean, I like doing that. Security return one card with Fenlong in its name from your trash to the hand, and then add this card to the hand. Yeah, if you got one of these out super early just for being here, and then like late game, it's like, oh no, this is security. Oh no, for your opponent, you get to bring it back out. It's pretty good. And then Fenlong himself here is a beastie boy. He can Digivolve from a level six, four sovereigns for a cost of four, which isn't too bad to be fair. Especially if you got the green Mahira Mon in it, so it's actually a free cast, which is still pretty darn good. <gasps> On plate, one attacking by returning up to four cards with a David or four sovereign traits from your trash to the bottom of the deck. For each one, all of your opponents will get minus 4,000 DP for the turn. Now, I don't know if this has the same effect connotation that sh uh, Shine Room Mode has. If it does, it's kind of broken, but very good. We're attacking for each of your Digimon with the four sovereign trait, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Well, 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 well. Don't we just swing for game? And in all turns, this Digimon isn't affected by effects of your opponent's Digimon. That's pr pretty good. So, yeah, like, uh, it can't ignore DP reduction. That's the only thing I believe it can't ignore because it's a game mechanic as opposed to a game action from a, a Digimon to a, another Digimon. But it's pretty good. Um, I have liked this deck since it was first introduced to us back in June, I think. June for Japan, that kind of time. And, you know, I had, there's a stream somewhere out there with me just going, like, we're going to crack this deck, it's going to be the best deck ever. And to be fair, it did really well in Japan. It was, like, the only other deck that was doing well besides... So Anubis was always doing well, Metal Group on Purple, uh, Blurple was doing really well, and then this was, like, the third deck in the format that was, like... It wasn't as good as the other two. But still getting wins against those two decks. And then BT15 comes out and we see Apocalypse Mon. So I'm going to go back to the other video now. And we'll see you guys mwah, later for some more news. Is the deck good? Surprisingly, yes. And I look forward to playing it. Because it was actually the deck I was looking forward to when EX5 was first announced. And hopefully in the near future we'll be able to get ourselves access to more fun cards like this in the future. But uh, not until after BT17. So mwah, peace out. See you guys soon. Have a fantastic day and ciao for now.